So I've been talking this morning at the Future Forum about the problem of economic inequality around the world and within countries and how we can think of ways to tackle this major challenge to our national economies and to the international economy. Um, we've been talking about possible policies that could be helpful in tackling the problem, but also the role that social participation, the um, input that ordinary people can have um, in the kind of activities that they do in their communities and how that can help solve the problem of economic inequality. And really, my point was that we need that social participation to challenge our current systems and structures because it is a lot of the systems and structures that we have um, that are the problem. Our current systems give a lot of power to a few wealthy people. Um, this tends to entrench the problem. And it also gives a lot of power to certain activities, like in the finance sector, and this becomes very structural. So we need to make sure that social participation puts pressure to change some of the systems that we have and that social participation doesn't just become about doing things around the edges that the current system says it's okay to do. So really it's about making a challenge um, in order to really change the way in which our economies are managed and operated so that everybody has a, a really good share in economic activity and the prosperity that it creates. Mm -hmm.